Throughout my entire time making videos on this platform, I always tend to find myself doing a video about how the NBA is potentially rigged. And part of the reason I make a video about this kind of topic every once in a while is because the NBA just keeps giving me fresh new material to work with. Seriously, they always seem to slip up and reveal valuable information before they should even have that information on hand. It literally just happened again. On the morning before game 5 of this current Warriors Grizzlies second round matchup, which by the time this video comes out should be two days ago, this happened. Welcome back to NBA Today presented by Hotels.com. Game 5, Warriors versus Grizzlies. That's tonight in Memphis, Golden State. They had shoot around earlier today. And now I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, that must have been after the Grizzlies won or something. Well, not so fast. Take a listen again very carefully. Game 5, Warriors versus Grizzlies. That's tonight in Memphis, Golden State. Game 5. That's tonight in Memphis. I'm sure most people who caught this live probably thought that has to be an honest mistake, right? You know, like gave them the benefit of the doubt. But not everybody was so quick to let that slide. Here are some comments that people posted immediately after watching that ESPN segment. 3-2, when did Memphis win a second game? And someone replied saying, apparently the game tonight is rigged. Dang, 3-2, I guess Memphis won game 5 before they even even played lol yo what is this why is it 3-2 scripted why did they show the series as 3-2 it's the warriors leading 3-1 i'm not tripping am i crazy they still didn't delete this video that clearly shows warriors lead 3-2 someone's response was they're putting it in our faces and some people will still say it's a typo well he was right some people did think that there's a typo it's 3-1 not a typo They've been telling us it's entertainment slash rigged. But even after that, some people still thought that there was no way the Warriors will lose game 5, especially given the fact that Ja would not be playing. But right on cue, not only did we witness a loss, but it was total domination. I guess they weren't kidding when they made this graphic. Remember guys, let's not forget when Mark Jones slipped up literally just last year. Looking to flip the script here tonight on the home court. Let's take a look at the bracket to the Eastern Conference. The winner of this series will take on the Atlanta Hawks, who lead Philadelphia three games to two. Like I said, the NBA has a history of revealing information too early. If this kind of stuff fascinates you, then you should check out this video I made about a year and a half ago if you haven't already. Trust me, it's a good watch. And since I have your attention already, here are two quick ones that kind of fit this criteria. When Gary Payton was chatting with Kobe Bryant in the early stages of the 08-09 season, he uttered something with a ton of confidence. I know you do not like to lose. So what, what was your thought coming in this year? What do y'all have to change when y'all go back to that championship? And now that you got the mentality, I think you will win the championship. Oh, whoa. Now, whether you agree that that was exactly a hot take or not, given the fact that the Lakers were literally in the finals the year prior, is for you to decide. Nevertheless, Gary Payton was right on the money, as the Lakers did indeed win the championship that year, just like he said they would. And lastly, we have a clip of New York Knicks fans' initial reaction when LeBron chose Miami instead of them. Broken right now, heartbroken. I really thought he was going to come. Amidst the speculation, I thought he was going to come anyway. It's devastating. What are you going to do, you know? I didn't expect him to come. Like, I thought he was going to come, but when he didn't come, what are you going to do? Now, next year, we, we rebuild. And one guy in particular found a way to cope with it. Honestly, my heart was just crushed. LeBron knows he made the wrong choice. Carmelo is coming next year. Uh, reporting that the deal is finally done. The Carmelo Anthony trade saga is finally over. Anthony going to his desired destination, Madison Square Garden, play with the Knicks.